board meeting to order um, it being January 14th um, we are being video and audio recorded so um, your comments uh, for the sake of um, recording please just give us your name and address thanks and with that I know you're here to talk further about the site plan review for Island Terrace so Thank you. I'm Kevin Klein with Norfolk Grand Group, and I've got Katie Connery, also from Norfolk uh, Wizard. Uh, we're here to discuss the uh, site plan review for Island Terrace Nursing Home. Um, we came before you about a month ago with just some preliminary ideas, uh, and then we did the formal uh, submittal and pro provided copies to all of the uh, department heads and boards. I guess uh, make it brief instead of going through the whole thing again, since we've already done it once. Uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like us to describe it in a little bit more detail, we certainly can. Okay, we did get letters of comments back from every board. Every board um, really had nothing but positive comments to make. Um, I don't know, did you have a chance, Jeremy, to talk with them about any of these? I have not, no. Okay. Have you seen a copy of we this? We have not seen any. No, you want me to make them a copy? Yeah, please. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'll make them pay for you. When do you think they'll start work on this? They are currently doing, um, trying to get uh, financing from the banks. Uh, we just did uh, the environmental site assessments and re uh, removed two old abandoned gasoline tanks. Uh, so they were hoping to get uh, financing completed um, in February. And then they're going to get started with the wastewater section of it immediately. Uh, that has to be done by the end of August. And they'd like to uh, go forward with the rest of it from then on. They've got a contractor on board uh, that's doing the pricing and in the process of doing the uh, filings with the state for the determination they need uh, for rate schedules and everything like that. A lot of these uh, comments, of course, this is all 29 of them. Um, you've been given uh, three sheets yeah. of the 17. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I figured. That's yeah. <laughs> the first thing I said to her, I said, there's no details and there are no sections or anything. So that's why I made it clear that it was really just based on these three sheets. Yeah. Obviously, I don't have specs or anything. So. Yeah, I think the entire thing is about 17 sheets. Mm -hmm. um, 17 sheets. Um, but then there's a couple that went along with the stormwater. Okay. We, I did see you talk about the stormwater pollution, but yeah. we submitted that to okay. uh, the Conservation Commission. Yeah, we've already been before the Conservation yep. Commission. We gave them copies. Planning Board did not want to stick to another tree with mm -hmm. more copies of those. Okay. Um, but um, <coughs> kind of think what the easiest way. Do you want to go through them now, or do you want to and get replies, or do you want us to reply to these? Um, um, I mean, most of these probably could, you could probably answer yes or no whether they were handled in your spec or somewhere else in the plans. Uh, you know, kind of general, general yep. recommendation for anything else. So. Okay. Um, 
Construction details, typical sections of all the tanks and everything else that's provided on the uh, mm -hmm. plans. Okay. Uh, erosion <coughs> control is on the, uh, the plans. Okay. Um, site design for deliveries to the nursing home. Uh, they are, uh, the proposed part of it is looking at the <coughs> deliveries are down in here. Mm -hmm. And there's actually going to be a loading dock coming right to here. Okay. But they're looking at, uh, that's uh, half a uh, half layer, half level. And that's where they're looking at doing everything. Okay, so they're going to come in this way? And yes. And what are they using for the vehicle specifically? It's the small truck. Are they actually yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where they currently do all their deliveries right now. Okay. Um, okay. Recommend all materials? Yes. Yeah. Pavement on the eastern side would yes. just be an overlay. Okay. Is what we're proposing at this point. Mm -hmm. What they're... And actually, what we did is we showed it as an overlay for worst case scenarios. Most likely, that's going to come out and be grassed. Okay. Uh, just because they didn't want it. They, it looks better, and they don't need it for anything. What it's used for right now is a dumpster and overflow parking. Um, but they would just come down to <coughs> here and do their uh, building right here and get rid of that. And then this walkway would. Walkway to terminate somewhere. Right? Goes right here to the entrance. Door. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure like what the condition of the existing pavement was or how it worked with the grades of the, the building addition. It's actually it works fine. Yeah. The building addition is just going to extend out. It's really flat out there. Okay. Um, well, listen, I don't want to call everybody short, but I think rather than you guys having a conversation, <coughs> um, there's no meeting in there, right? No. Um, why don't, if you don't mind, me ask the three of you to take this full set of plans. Yeah. You can go in the other room, answer all of his questions. Sure. If he comes back in here when you're done and tells us that he likes everything that's here. Um, that's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Why don't, you, doesn't waste everybody's time. why don't you do that? Okay. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue with our business here, and, you know, when you're ready, we'll just get Sounds your stuff right great. back in. Thank you. Now, I don't mean to cut any of the board members short, but if, you know, if there's any no. particular questions you might have to ask, you can ask them when they return. That's fine. I mean, as I go over, you know, what's here, it really is details that I believe actually were on the other set of plans that we didn't see. So I think if we let Jeremy do his job, um, John, you get you out of the way. You want to see John Pink and yep. get him out of the way? Yeah. Because he's next, anyways. Yeah. Come on in, John. Okay. How is everybody? Jim, before I turn it, just quickly, um, can we turn it on? I guess he wants to put in the road now. Josh in the States, remember that? He was out the race course road. He had to move now, 67 years ago. And I just wondered if you know, yeah. is, is he ready to run? Does he have to post a bond? Does he have to do anything? Or should he be just ready to start putting in the physical? We'd have to pull the file, John. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I just don't just remember curious. all the I particulars. Don't know. Yeah. You know, I said he's probably going to be able to tell me straight out. Yeah. But uh, is it possible for him to post something before he even begins construction or before he tries to get the lots released? Did he just submit something for a, um, a utility pole to be moved also? I don't know. I just to be saw honest, it wouldn't have been there. It was for the selectmen just like a week ago, I saw it oh, yeah. on Race Quest Road because, uh, because of the an entrance. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, if you could look into it somewhere, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, you guys signed it like, um, I want to say, six or seven years ago, maybe. But everyone's been sitting up. This isn't really a pre preliminary subject. Wasn't it? Didn't it have to go to land court? And that's why it took so it's, long. Yeah, it's yeah. land court. That's yeah. right. Um, it's not a preliminary subdivision plan in the, the real sense of the word where I'm not asking you to say yes or no to get a timeline on this. But I've got to go to ZBA here. Um, the reason being is where it, the blue outline is industrial B district. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Mark Woodford. He owns the property. It, uh, outlined in yellow, it's a 12-acre parcel. We just want to do 
the two lot no build um, subdivision and the problem with industrial B is it's got a three acre minimum minimum 60 foot setbacks even for a residential dwelling even it, there's no seems to be no which I, I find kind of strange in itself but um, the only way we can do it is to make the two acre lot as opposed to a, we get a three we get a seven if I try and put another three acre we can't get it because Jim we still have to um, do it as if it was going to be full build out would need a drainage easement going between the house and the wetland and uh, I j we just can't do it so you know the idea is to go to ZBA and ask for a variance on area on one lot maybe with the restriction that will never be further subdivided um, we're really restricted because of the wetland we can't come in from Reed Farm Road if you can see that lower um, frontage there and, um, so the, the pink ones, by the way, the pink lots are all lots that are typical lots. They're either undersized <coughs> or are typical residential lots right. now. So I think you can see it's not detrimental to the neighborhood. That, that's what it is right now, pretty much. And it would be... So, so why can't this two-acre lot be a three-acre lot? I, if you really... This is scaled on the assessor's map, Jim. It's actually tighter than that. Mm -hmm. If I tack on another acre, we get too close to the house. With the 60 foot setback, for one thing, I just can't do it. I can't make it work. And, and the intention for these other lots is to be what? I'm sorry? These other lots are to be developed? Well, this ha the seven acre lot has a dwelling on it. Right. This is the one I lived in. The three right. acre, I don't know what, <clears throat> what Mark's future intention is for now. That's just our typical two lot. Right. Well, one, this roadway no doesn't build. exist, right? doesn't exist but there is a existing gravel driveway that almost follows it perfectly just mm -hmm. coincidentally actually it just worked out that's how I would have done it anyways um, I don't know if Mark has intentions down the line of developing the three acres I don't plan on doing anything with the three acres because I can see the the cows over there and I wouldn't want anybody that close there's no trees or anything there or anything. so I don't even know Jim I, I don't know if can you do that? Can you provide frontage for this lot and have no lot? And then it, it might be doable. Do you know what I'm saying? Just one big lot here and increase that to three. Isn't that technically not work by the definition of subdivision? By the definition of subdivision, right. Yeah. So the, the basic thing here was just to give you, you guys a little insight onto what we were applying for because I know ZBA is going to kick it back to you and you guys might not see the big picture here or get an understanding of what was being done and why and you know what the full scale plan looked like. So it's really, I'm not looking for a yes or no tonight, but maybe some comments or how you feel or if you have any questions. Well, it comes back your way. I mean, it, the feeling was to have a 12 acre lot with basically not really much as a line of wetlands and not be able to get anything but one lot out of it was a little silly. What is the frontage on uh, the two acre lot? On what, Don? The two acre lot. Well, I have to have 200. That's got way over now because it, it, it's mostly on here. It's actually more there than it looks, and then coming up there, so it's probably going to count the uh, driveway. Yeah. <coughs> you mean the the new the proposed cul-de-sac? Yes. yes. Yeah, but it's got close to 200. Even see, that's another thing in industrial B. You need 200 feet of frontage, as opposed to uh, the normal 175, right? So we just have it right there. It was just really constrained considering it was 12 acres. Of <laughs> yeah, have you shown this to Nathan at all? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I think he, he feels it 
it works for what's in the neighborhood. That was his opinion, you know, right now. We're still working on it. <coughs> we're showing it to him. He, he thought it made sense because basically everything in the neighborhood that we had frontage on the main roads there was already uh, a typical residential lot, and we're above that. We could probably make it a little bigger, you know, even two and a quarter acre, something like that, but I can't get up to the, the standard of industrial B. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that I have any answers for you, John. I mean, the, well, the, the bylaw is the bylaw. Right. Um, and, you know, any hardship you create is really self-created. So it doesn't mm -hmm. meet the, the requirements for ZBA determination um, or not an approval. Um, obviously, they could grant it to you if you gave it to them. Um, and if nobody appealed, you'd be fine. If, right. if somebody wanted to appeal you'd be out of luck but no I um, understand that you know and uh, well we kind of felt when you read when you read case law and stuff like that I mean you got 12 I, mean, I think if there was a way to make that a three acre lot then the planning board would have something to say about it mm -hmm. I couldn't make it work and to be honest mathematically get um, all sorts of positions for the, the cul-de-sac and I don't know if a better way is it because if you go further, you'll lose the frontage of that seven acre around yeah, that cul-de-sac. Yeah, that too. And, <clears throat> and like I said, we we're surprised to find that the industrial B holds the sixty foot setbacks on all lot lines, mm. even though it's so. a residential dwelling where normally it would be twenty, even forty in business at night. But no, the front yard is sixty. The side. I no, I think they actually the call the it a, call it out somewhere. Then. That would be great if it was twenty. Oh, there it is. I think they have something else as uh, another part in, in the bylaw as far as just separate for for this. But I think the other thing is I had to put an easement on there too, Jim, for drainage to get it out for that water. It's the only place it can go. And it has to come out and down through here. Even this, I'd have to neck it down and put some ridiculous parcel to the rear. Um, to the rear lot seven? I mean, the seven acre lot? Yeah. Can you do something like that, John? Like you're just talking, to, like you say, it looked ridiculous, but couldn't you put a uh, covenant on that? <coughs> As a uh, no touch, uh, no. Um, you mean cutting. Mark put a covenant mm -hmm. on there for mm -hmm. ice, possibly? What if we made it a three? Let's see. Well, that's what he's saying. If yeah. you can, it's still, but you know, because the three almost brings it right to the front of the house, right? Close yeah. To the well. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think a well per se would count because you could say put it in the well. <laughs> yes. And I'm not looking for a yes or no. That's not what we're, I know you can't act on this. It's not that type of thing, but it was just to inform you so you got you had some insight again and, and saw something and understood so it just didn't get come back from ZBA and you guys I don't even know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Oh Jim, you know when the room when, has to when be they were zoned industrial view, what do you know anything about the purpose of Keeping residential lots in industrial view to three acres. Do you remember it all? No, I don't. Yeah. I mean, it was done. Um, I think when I first came on the board, there was industrial, industrial B, and you know, the, the zones already existed. I don't remember exactly how far back it, it went. I know we've changed the size of this um, yeah. a couple of times, and. Uh, you know, obviously it doesn't seem to be working because we've had really no industrial. I mean, I think at the time there was the um, cement plant that was there, and I think there was one yeah, other. Yeah, it was a clam place, and now Bay State's there. Yeah. Um, but the soils are, you know, I can tell you through there, Rick Chavez, you know, just tell you it's soft. So. And now there, there actually is a lot here, so this has kind of been blocked for access through this way. 
it's uh, it more and more constrained than I had the weapon yeah. mine I just showed because it's it's uh, getting more and more limited all the time. So I mean, probably the the more proper way to to approach it would be to look at you know asking the community if they have any see any benefits to the land the way it's developed as mm -hmm. far as being used as industrial land uh, yep. and maybe downsized as well. Um, you know, the town right now seems to have a tendency to really go the other way, and I'm not sure why that is either, but um, so I, I don't have any answers for you, John. This is an easy one. <laughs> well, again, I, I'm not looking. I know this isn't a yes or yeah. no thing. Hey, we're young hope for this or we're not in favor of it. Uh, it was just to present something if and when we file that it comes back and have a little idea of what's going on. That was strictly it. And if you have any questions as to why, so we can have, have it go back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any questions. I don't know if you guys do. I just don't understand the three acres. Sorry? I don't understand the three acre. The the other one. That nothing's the other one? Yeah, that's what they call it. This one? Yeah. Well you can't Why really do a one line line subdivision. I think but I think um, the chairman will tell you you can't have a one lot subdivision. This is kind of the only way. Is that where you question why we have a three lot? Why do you have to split this into three instead of splitting it into two? You want to clear that in? Yes. <laughs> Well, the subdivision law is basically the division of a tract of land into two or more parcels um, requiring a new way. So two, you, you could still have two lots. Can um, we do that? Yeah, you're subdividing a parcel into two lots that requires new way and frontage. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, think is right. You, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. You think we could with the roadway, though, itself and do it as a two-lot? But this could still be built upon without full-blown construction, because basically it's. Well, I mean, what you're asking then is, just can they use the driveway um, and develop it as the roadway? Um, well, use the driveway it would only be for this at that point, and then this would pretty much have its frontage on Kilmer's. You wouldn't need that driveway for access. Right, but again, you, if you, what you need to do is to make that three acres. That might be doable if I could, you know, push this over to the sideline and eliminate this lot. Yeah, I don't see why you, you couldn't do that. that. If that works for, mm -hmm. for him, then it's a moot point. In, in industrial, the narrow parts don't count anyway. That was part of that's it. The, yeah, yeah, there's an area there that can't be counted. Everything is less than 50 lot. feet don't yeah. count, so maybe yeah. that's not even three acres anyway. Yep. Of course, if you wanted to, I mean, if there were not wetlands here coming in here, would have been could have put a cul-de-sac behind the house. It would have been all done. But, uh, so, anyways, just wanted to present to you here front so it didn't come as a surprise if it came across your desk. You know, from the zoning board, you would be aware of what it was about. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? <coughs> I mean, if that's just gravel right now, that seems like the easiest route, right? What's that? Uh, this uh, this roadway that will eventually become the the road. Yeah. If you can just keep moving it over, but I don't know how, how much well, work that is. Well, that'd be part of it. He might lose part of the existing one. This was going to be an 80-foot-wide road. <laughs> but I don't know if I pay. You know, everything's a trade-off. So. I'll speak to Mr. Woodward about it. The trade chart. And um, well, you do feel that's a possibility to put that in and use the just the frontage of that cul-de-sac and the existing driveway for the back one. Well, I think what he wants to do is you want to sell the land up front and keep the back land as opposed to right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just figure out a way to make that three acres. Well, like I said, it, even just rotating that over it probably could work at that point in relation.
attention to yeah. things that are there. Play, play with the numbers and see what you can get. Okay. And, and do that before you go to the yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Jim, who would know about uh, Elliot's? Who would have the answer? Is that something you just had to answer? Um, yeah, Pauline's going to have to pull the file. We okay. can look at it next next okay. meeting. What am I looking at? Joshua will just see if there's anything he uh, has remaining to do for you folks before we can start this I think he's all set. I think the approval is still good, but I don't know if we need something posted. Yeah, without going back to the file, John, yeah. I really don't know. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. I, I don't know what you want to do. If you want to do um, Bill's for Nancy and then do the curb cuts for Jeremy, so if you've got questions while he's still here. All right, let's do the curb cuts. All right, that's Nancy's bill to be approved. Um, and the meter is put that put Nancy on to the selectman for next year for the budget. Instead of being on, on us, what happened? Well, that's fine. All right, we have a bill um, for Nancy for two hours in the amount of forty dollars and fifty-four cents. Um, Motion to approve. Are right here second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, the curb cuts. Two curb cuts for Highland Road. Uh, these are the these are two new lots. Who did these plans? They did. Who's they? <laughs> How are we supposed to tell anything from that? Well, that's what they asked them to yeah, vote. Is it going on? A drawing of where it's going to be is what they are told to apply. It's going to be right. Right. These are actually, um, these are actually, um, um, lots one and two of that larger Robbins Lane building project. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand it. No, I don't understand it. They're all staked right now. Um, so this is this is Zimmerman. This is Carol Zimmerman. This is Tad Zimmerman. Yeah. And these are the other two. Actually, this is isn't this a field? Yeah. And then. Stuck a trail is on the other side. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, Jeremy signed off. You guys have it. You guys got copies of it? No, yeah, I didn't. I didn't make up copies of Jeremy signed off, but yet he gave his comments. Does um, 51 and 53, they're, they're both the same, and probably the comments are the same in both of them. Um, what Jeremy is suggesting is that there be a, um, a construction entrance of crushed stone apron in the area of the proposed driveway. Um, to prevent sediment from coming out onto the, <coughs> the road. He wants a 12 feet wide, 20 feet long, comprised of inch and a half stone, eight inches deep. Um, any pavement damage that occurs on Highland Road 
shall be appropriately repaired by the contractor. The applicant is supposed to contact the highway department in case of any damage. The proposed driveway should be graded to prevent drainage runoff onto the existing driveway and highway. And the applicant should adhere to the Town of Lakeville's regulations for residential and business driveways and curb cuts. Any comments on the site view? Um, it's it's fairly straight right there. Um, there's no comments from Jeremy about it, but but Highland Road is is pretty straight. It's coming downhill. It um, it reaches a low point just after 53, yeah. um, and then starts to go back up. But it's got good good eye um, sight in both directions. So I you know I, I think um, the board motion to approve based on them following Jeremy's recommendations, that would be appropriate. So any comments or suggestions? Yeah, this yeah, is well, 53. They're each, they're yeah. individual. Okay. There's two things. There's, there's one for 51 and one for 53. And is 49 an old one? Or is that one? 49 is existing. There's a house there. Oh. Yeah. That's the father, son, uh, the, um, right now. The Zimmermans? Yeah. yeah, the houses are both up for sale. It's Carol and Lynn Zimmerman at 47, and Tad owns the house next door. <coughs> Tad and Tanny Zimmerman. Okay. The distances are all legal because there aren't any marked here. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks like yeah, the distance from the side to the side. Yeah. But yeah. It's hard to say it's wrong. But I don't know what it is. But. It looks fine to me. Yeah. Motion to approve the. Uh, Curb cut for 51 and 53 Highland Road, with um, the uh, with subject to the uh, comments made by Jeremy Peck. Very good. Any other second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Those in favor, say aye. 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 All right. Jim has to sign it. Just one of us. Well, one of us. <coughs> I'm looking at this thing that's using the forms. These forms have Chris's name on them. Yeah, I know. Jeremy crossed them out and put yeah. his name. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Um, now I got letters. I got mail, I should say, not letters. We did this, and we did that. Okay. And What's the uh, Christian fellowship? Yeah, that's. Christian. That's the ZBA things. Is there one for each of us here? Hmm? Is there one for each of us here? Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't make a all those plans and everything because all we're going to do is throw them away. Yep. So, if you just pass them around and clean them. So these are the two then? Yeah. Because the answer is anybody that goes to the ZBA has to make like 13 or 14 copies to begin with now without adding five more for us. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah. What's this for the church? And this is a ZBA petition? It's a, is that the one for the sign? I don't, one is for the sign that's already there. Is that the church? Post house reconstruction. No, that's not the one then. The one, there's one for the church. And the one for the church is the sign which is already there. It was there when, before Bob I Afraid was left. Got it. 
for the church. Yeah. Lakewood Christian. Our property frontage is on Howland Road. <coughs> between numbers 29 and 30. 50 Holland? feet. That's what I say. No, oh, that's Highland. Highland. The code requires 30 feet from each property line. We have only 25 feet to each property line. My only concern here really is, is that the sign not interfere with the site lines coming in and out of the site. That's, um, As I said, the sign's already there. Has it been there? It's been there for, I've been since before Bob I afraid has left. Yeah. So let's just go and take a look at that guy if you want. I don't think it interferes with that. No, I don't think it does either. It's up, it's up yeah. back. It's up off the thing. But I'm saying, I mean, it, it is already there. Can you tell me which one you're talking about? Yeah, it's the old Mullen Hill Church. Oh. The old Mullen Hill Church. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that's what At it is. At the corner yeah. of Highland. No, 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 no. no. The corner. That's, that's the new it, heading back it, to it, you get uh, you kind of go going down Highland Street with the mm. first church on the left, right at the race court. Real old, real old church. Yeah, yeah, little white one. Yeah. <coughs> You guys can look at that plan. This is oh. sorry. Yeah, you got the, the church here yeah, staked together with the, the second one, right? I'm sorry. <coughs> you've, you've got um, uh, the Lakewood Christian Fellowship. And Marzelli. Yeah, the, well, Marzelli is here. We've got it's here too, I guess. It's there too. It shouldn't be there. Windrush Hollow Road. 
No. What, what, I don't know. What is this here? I don't understand. I don't know. Yeah, it's the yeah, Moselle is pine block. Well, maybe the man from Christian, from Lake of Christian, is on that road. Is that what what it is? I don't know. Well, no, there's a there's no, a site the plan. There's Windrush Hollow Road, but this is uh, that that's not the same. That's not what we're talking about. That's off of Howland Road. That's Howland Road. Yeah. So Tim was right when he's talking Howland Road, not Highland Road. Yeah, that's what I thought because yeah. the, the gentleman who's doing it. <coughs> then it's not the old Mullen Hill Church. No, it's not. On this Highland. is yeah, it's off Howland Road, and it's it's the one that goes way down and back. They've yeah. they've built that. Now now I'm got my barons, Yeah. Yeah. So it's I not Highland, they, it is well, Highland. They, well, they said it was Highland. I, I didn't yeah. look, re, look through the plans. To no, I thought, yeah, it's a, no, it's off. This one here is off of Highland. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, this uh, is the one that goes way this down. This is the one down by me. Yeah. Oh, give you an they've yeah. been, yeah. they've been building that church. There. I'm sorry. It'll be an alternate place of worship. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good-sized church, but they've been building it for a number of years. Um, all right, well, now I... Now I the right pew. Okay. <laughs> now you're the right pew. <laughs> okay. And they want 25 feet instead of 30 feet. Right. So why can't, why why wouldn't they have room up there? There's, a, that's, there's plenty of room up there. Why wouldn't no, they? because the lot, the way it was laid out originally, I believe, is only is that? 50 foot wide. Oh. It's just a 50 foot old road layout. I think that's what shows yeah. on the site plan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if they put it right smack dab in the middle of their frontage. Mm -hmm. So that used to be a road? No, it was it was originally, I think it was laid out originally as a roadway. Um, and somehow the church took it over, but I think it has frontage on another section too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I think they're actually using that as... No, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly where the driveway is, but they have a, a metal gate across it. The front, it's clo that metal gate is closed all all week long. It's only open on certain times, and evidently when they're there on a weekend or something. Sunday, 10 a.m. Oh. I don't have any issues with it. I don't know if you guys. No. <laughs> five five feet is not much. Five feet five feet additional on each side. Yeah, for a sign. Yes, sir. Okay, so is somebody going to make a motion? Uh, motion to recommend. Okay, here's a second. Second. Is there any other discussion? Harry, none. Those in favor say aye. 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 Can I ask who said second, please? Donnie. Donnie? Okay, I thought it was him, but I wasn't sure.
All right, the next application is for a family who wants to build a much bigger house um, down on Pine Bluff. So if you notice, um, Peter has the pictures of the house. Um, and this is the larger plan, which shows the, the pre-existing conditions. And uh, I mean, it's a very, ex ex it's a very good plan. Um, <coughs> Is this the big problem, Jim, right here? Well, the side line's supposed to be 20 feet, and they're they're making it more non-conforming by yeah, by moving it in. 16 um, What road is that on, Jim? Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff. Now, the other part, and I'll, I'll basically um, read some of the conditions. The existing single-family, two-story high building um, is 858 square feet in size. Contains 1,100 square feet of living space within the two floors. It also contains a porch and a deck, which is 164 square feet, with a walkout basement. Dwelling was constructed in 1920, has two bedrooms. Dwelling serviced by private water supply and septic system, um, passed by Title V inspection fees. The property is 32,580 square feet in size, and the house situated at its northeastly north corner, approximately 32 feet from Aswamsa Pond. The dwelling is currently non-conforming in two directions. The side building setback easterly, excluding overhangs, is 17.6 versus the 20-foot requirement, and the abutting property in the front building setback is 8.8 .8 feet versus 40-foot requirement from the paper street known as Lekram Road. Um, that doesn't so concern me because the paper street was never constructed. Um, I think the more important setback here really is from Pine Bluff um, Road, which is the traveled way that, that everybody uses. So I, I don't see that eight feet really to be important. Um, the proposed, the project conditions, the proposed single family dwelling will be two story high. 1,628 square feet in size and contain 2,687 square feet of living space. House will be constructed with a 125 foot square foot unheated sunroom, 220 square foot deck and walkout basement. The house will remain a two story dwelling, but obviously it's considerably larger in size. Um, proposes to construct the house holding the east holding the existing northeasterly building corner at 17.76. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. get that. So what, that corner? I guess mm -hmm. so that's the northeasterly building corner. Yeah, yeah but no, they're showing it at 16. Mm -hmm. The existing 17.6, and now they want to. Yeah, so they're not holding anything. Right. Actually, it's further. Oh. It's going to be further away from the property line. No, it's going to be closer. 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 Yeah. Sixteen eight. Seventeen. And this is seventeen six. Yeah. This is the new. That's proposed. It's Lake Rim Road. There are old paper way. Yeah. See, there are old paper streets which were never really developed. So, so who owns them? Um, well, technically, what it would be is, is that if this gentleman who owns this, he owns he owns that road completely. It's he just owns that, that piece of that road. He owns that, that road completely. Owns it. Oh. Right. Now, if there's nobody here who uses those, like nobody here who, who uses this road, that road, you know, has no bearing to anybody. Lakeram Road here, where it's now picked up at that area, um, you know, you, in other words, technically, he could close this off and have no implication to anybody. Um, that might be a different story because Pine Bluff continues down and over. I don't even know what they call that. Uh, you know, Pine Bluff is really the area. But if no that's a gravel private way. That's a private way? Travel way. Gravel. Gravel traveled way. Yeah. And they are, they are all private ways. But... In other words, somebody laid out the roadways, and then they didn't build any roadway in them. They built, you know, a, a, a pretty much a gravel driveway to get to certain properties that 
you know, then people took his. But his it's on somebody's old map somewhere. That's the. Yeah. Yeah. But. So what, what is your concern? Then? As far as. As far as him going forward with football. Um, I don't really have any concerns. I mean, uh, is there a reason why they can't hold, you know, mm -hmm. the existing condition of 17.6 feet? I mean, there's no reason why they can't move the house back, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, they don't want to increase that that dimension, but that dimension to me doesn't mean anything. I'd look more at the existing gravel way, and that's more than, you know, the, the you know, what is it? Yeah, I think he's just adding eaves, too. I mean, it's not even... But a, the eaves don't count. Is that what the dotted line well, represents? That's what the dot. Is this just a matter of when the architect just clicked and dragged and, and brought it to a point and then it came up with a dimension and, and it's so close. Or the eave line. The eave, the eaves don't count? <clears throat> okay. No. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that dimension looks like it is. I mean, maybe they are. Yeah, it says that it should be noted that the house setback from the actual traveled way is approximately 39.2 feet. Yep. I see it. Yeah. I see it. And that was 39. Yeah, okay. So we didn't change that. They can't do anything without the zoning board's approval, and of course the neighbor gets notification that sure. this is what they're doing. Um, I would assume if they've come this far, they've checked with them and uh, hope so, right? I mean, the thing is, is you can really kind of see from the pictures, which I'll, I'll pass down here, that I mean, obviously the, the house is it's becoming considerably larger than what was there. It's a good sized lot, it's 32,000 square feet. <coughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this, we, we, just, we just voted on this two years ago. This, this one, if it's 15, on a lot of 15,000 square feet or more, it's exempt from the special permit uh, for changes, ex extensions, and alterations pre-existing non-conforming unless the building commissioner determines that the, this, this was this was one of the, this is one of the Bob one of Bob's changes. Right. And I, I remember it because I didn't at the time I didn't agree with it. But, the, uh, but it's there. Yeah, except where the building commissioner determines right. that the proposed change, extension, or alteration will intensify the nonconformity. Right. So if he, if I think he, in this particular case, if he's complaining case, about the foot, yeah, in this particular case, it, it is an intensification of the nonconformity. So, um. so uh, Zinc, what you're talking about is this last sentence in closing about. Um, um, the Zoning Board of Appeals makes a finding that the proposal is not substantially more detrimental than the existing non-conforming use and approve the special permit, where in essence it doesn't need a special permit. Well, well the board does need to do, issue the special permit because it's been already refused by the building inspector. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Right. It's okay. up to the building inspector to say whether it's substantially more or more non-conforming. And, and, and I think he's made the right decision right. in that particular case because... You know, you've, you've taken a building who's one story, you've gone to two stories, you've added eight feet from the non-conforming side of it, so it's, uh, 
you know, it's not like it's a foot or something like that. But, um, so what are we saying? Well, close call for the Zoning Board of Appeals. <laughs> They're going to vote on it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, not a, it's not an earth-shaking thing one way or the other. You know, this is one of those cases, and this is where case law actually stepped in um, just about a year ago, when you began to take a look at this, if the special permit allowed an intensification of the lot, or the increased size of the lot. Um, <coughs> Other boards used to also say that if the special permit's granted, in addition to there are variances that need to be granted to allow it because it doesn't conform to the law. Um, you know, the the court through case law has now determined that if the special permit is granted, the variances don't need to be granted. So that all we have to look for in this particular case is the special permit. If the board can make a determination that the the increased size no. Um, does not intensify the nonconformity um, to the neighborhood, then that's basically good enough, and they can issue the special permit, and everybody can move forward. The ZBA. Yeah. The ZBA, right. yeah. Not us. Yeah, we really don't have anything to say about it. It's, um, it's an interesting case. So what, are you going to make a motion or not? Can't think of one. What? Can't think of a motion. Yeah. Can't think of what? Well, the motion would be to, you know, to either approve or disapprove. Approve or disapprove of the petition. That's really all they're asking for. I don't know if we have much else to say. I make a motion that we move forward to approve the petition. Okay. Sounds made. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So said, we're just essentially just moving it on. Yeah. 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 That's Peter's team. That's, 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 that's. Okay, so we've gone through the, uh, the 29 comments that I had or recommendations, and uh, they agreed to implement some of the recommendations uh, that we've talked about. Okay. Um, Which ones are you most concerned about, Jeremy? Uh, that they still need to do. Or are there any that they still need to do? Well, I think we agreed to do anything we wanted. Us yeah, to. yeah. And, and then the rest yeah. of them, were, we showed them where they were on the plan. Right, yeah. So a lot of them, a lot of the recommendations were either in the plans or they're in the specs or in the details. Um, so uh, number 18, they're going to use the wall design, they're going to use a, ma a standard mass DOT. For uh, retaining walls. Okay. Number 17, we're going to increase from 3 inches to 4 inches of loam. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. right. And number 12, we're going to add a crosswalk. You say you're going to add a what? A crosswalk. crosswalk. A crosswalk. Okay. Yeah, the locations of the proposed wheelchair ramps aren't finalized yet, so it's once they finalize that, they're going to show a wheelchair ramp location and provide a crosswalk. Okay. Just a minimum. Yeah. Number 24. We're going to add the uh, <coughs> CY cleanups on the uh, sewers on the visual building. Okay. And 27. We will call out the parking lot, parking space size, 
on the existing parking. We show it on the new, but not on the existing. I think that that's also called for in our um, in the bylaws. We have it on the proposed parking. Okay. We didn't put it on the existing. Okay, so that's all you're going to. It's the right size. We just have to call out the size. Okay. Nine by eighteen or twenty-four. Was the Nine, sorry. Yeah. And there was one more about uh, snow removal. We're going to designate yeah. where on the. Yeah, uh, number twenty. They're going to try to provide uh, uh, areas of asphalt parking lot for snow storage um, to promote TSS removal of the sand, salt, and the ice or materials in the snow. And they haven't determined exactly where, where, where it'll be, but they're going to try to do it wherever they can. Yeah. Okay. Salt. No. They're not they can't. Oh, they can use salt. They yeah. can't use that. Yeah. No, all we're allowed to use is sand. Yeah, but even that, you want to really clean that so it doesn't yeah. get into the right. pond. Yeah, so yeah, that's why it's important for it to be in the asphalt so it yeah. gets into the basins, collected in the subs. Yeah. Okay. So there's very few minor changes that you need to make. Mm -hmm. um, yes. yes. And you can show those on the plan. We're going to show them on the plan. We're going to provide Jeremy with a full set of plans for okay. his records. And he wants copies of the stormwater report and the report. And the Okay. So we're gonna get in PDF copies of all of that. Yeah. We need a full set. And yeah, we need a full set as well. We need full okay. set. Of, of the seventeen. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So with that being done, I think at our next meeting we'd be all set to, you know, give you our approval. Okay. Um, we're not holding you up, right? No. Nope. Yeah. The so next meeting is the twenty eighth. Yeah. So if you can have that back to us on the twenty eighth, do you see any Problem, gentlemen. Do you have any other issues that you want to have resolved? Or? This is pretty much going to look the same as what it is right now. Yes. Right now, There's going to be a couple extra rooms on the and uh, one side is going to be a lower. Okay. Uh, you can expose some of the basement on one side. Yes. The, the side that is exposed, actually. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, I, think it's, I, I think it's great that they, they found a way of working this out. And in relationship to other boards, um, we have heard back from the building inspector, from the Board of Selectmen's Office, through the Town Administrator, through the Open Space Committee, through the Conservation Commission, and through the Fire Chief, and Police I'm sorry, Chief. Police Chief, and the Fire Chief, and the Fire Chief, who have all given their blessing and approved project to move forward, which is great for us. I mean, I, I very much appreciate their input um, for this project as well as any other projects in the future. So uh, thank you very much for working out this out with us. And, um, you know, I think uh, as, as a board, we'll be ready to make that vote with the changes as long as Jeremy comes back and tells us everything's good. Thank you very much. Thank you for both. Thanks. There shouldn't be an issue for those areas. No, but they, they already voted on those anyway, so they're all set. Yeah, they were just contingent upon, the vote was contingent upon them following through with your recommendations mm -hmm. as far as, you know, tracking pads and, yep. and blah, blah, blah. So when that's going on, as long as they understand that, because mm -hmm. we signed the plan, but... You know, we should probably write that note on the plan before it... I will. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you going to follow up with that, what, them when they're going to actually be doing that work? So we can... um, no, we won't. Um, what do you mean? On what work are we talking about? Those driveways, driveways. and those curb cuts are put in. I mean, they're going to probably apply to Nathan for building permit. Mm -hmm. um, probably, um, I'm not sure how Nathan does that with his department, but... I know I wouldn't sign off or issue the permit until I had you sign off on it. So, yeah. I mean, if... No, I'm just thinking, so when they're actually going to do right. the work, that we can go out and do a quick inspection, make sure that they're 
putting it to the depth that you want and the right. size yeah. that you want. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's also some conservation issues there as well, so I'm assuming that that would all need to be in place. And, uh, I thought Nancy said there were no conservation issues. Um, if, if there's, it runs downhill to that little pond down there, so I would imagine that there must be something that would be in place. You have their blessing. You can leave. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. See you. Yep. Okay. Um, I know a letter from Open Space. One quick question. Did you were going to talk to the, uh, the town council about special permit requirements. Yes, no, maybe? Oh, you haven't. Okay. Um, Building inspector was going to do the same, but I can yeah, I think I was going to check with him about checking with I'll town check council. I'll check with Nathan and find out if he's done. Yeah. Thank you very much. And then let me know. Okay. Give me a call tomorrow, and I'll be able to tell you. Okay. I'll check with him in the morning first thing. Okay. Okay. Sounds Thanks. good. Yeah. Thank you. The Open Space Committee would like in the near future to have a joint meeting with the Planning Board to discuss zoning changes still being considered for Bedford Street, the incentive bylaw as it pertains to open space, the model open space subdivision bylaw, and the state smart growth, smart energy toolkit, and its potential benefit to town, and floor area ratio bylaw as a means of reducing impact of larger houses on undersized lots. Um, would you please include us in the agenda for one of your upcoming meetings? Um, this was dated January 10th, so I mean, if uh, there's probably no reason why we couldn't um, come up on the 28th with them. Okay, I think so. you guys want to sound all right? Yeah, that sounds good. <coughs> what do, do we have anything Doesn't else coming right. up, Pauline? Well, we can just this is the same night as our next meeting. <laughs> I didn't even think of that when I saw it, to be honest with you. Well, the thing is, the Open Space Committee is attended by most of the conservation people, oh, so <laughs> yeah. I guess that's going to have to be our first meeting in February. Okay, well, when are we going to do February? That's, uh, we don't have any up for some new calendars. No, that's uh, 13. All right. Yeah, mine's old as the hills, but uh, oh boy! All right, so what are we talking? February. The, 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 the fourth, the eleventh, the eighteenth, and the twenty-fifth. What the eleventh? February eleventh. That how, I mean, that's the question, don't February 11th? Yeah. That's, that, that's actually two out, right? We're still going to have right. one on the 28th. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. On the 28th? And we have one 11th. on the 28th of January. So I'll, I'll, I'll miss this. Yeah. And the February 11th. Okay. I was going to speak at this, actually. The, uh, the, I only have one issue with a lot of the stuff that they do is uh, this 25-foot no-touch zone is... Uh, I just can't see it as anything but a conservation easement that's not paid for. I mean, I, just, I can't see two different ways around it. And I was going to... Does anyone have a different opinion of that? Of their no-touch zone? Well... I can, I can understand a no-build uh, that, that, that you can have a setback from a uh, wetland. Yeah, I mean, I think it's very similar to the provisions that National Heritage establishes on 75%. I don't believe in that I don't believe in that either. Yeah, I know that and, and it's I'm there. That I, it is, it is, but it's meant to be fought, you know. It's, it's so I didn't it. realize you were that much of a rebel. No, I, it, it, <laughs> no I'm, I'm not. I, I, I actually like trees. I, 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 I consider myself a tree hugger, but 
I think you should own the tree to hug it. You know. You can just go. You zinc one of these already, right? Which one? The conflict of interest. Oh God, I have so many of those. Okay, I'm giving up. I think I got one in the uh, in an email. I did. I yeah. sent you all in one in an email, but I was one yeah. thing. No. And did Jan Tracy call you? No, she emailed me. But okay. I. Um, I am so freaking boggled by it all because it's exactly the same test. She says it's not. <coughs> it's not the same for a committee as it is for an employee. You're an employee of a, of a question. You're not an employee I, of the town. This takes so much time to do. How can you say that? It takes, you know, I took it, it took it. It takes no time at all. Oh, no, you I haven't taken it most recently. I just did, I did too. August. I just took one. I just did one in August. And how long did it take you? I, I don't, I, I don't it takes like half an hour. No. <laughs> You're a very slow reader if it takes well, like half an hour. Well, then maybe it's because I'm an employee that it was a different test. Yeah, well, maybe. Because well, the, one I, the one I took was at least a half an hour, 45 minutes long. Um, I'm, an sit, I'm an employee, I, and, yeah. and, 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 what can you, and what can you get wrong on it? When you answer the question, if you answer it wrong, it tells you to answer it again. That's the way they used to be. It's still that way. Well, I don't know. Then I'm, I'm not taking the same test. Oh, in any event, she said we ha that we have to take them every two years. And well, I just took one last year. But she says yours was late when you took it. It should have been taken in. in a, I, I mean, talk to her on it. I honestly don't know, Jim. All I know is when I gave it to her, she said it didn't apply. What happens if I don't take the test? You ask her that. I have no idea. I'm going to play zinc now. This is something that needs to be fought. <laughs> well, then go ahead and fight it, because I'm with you. I took it I mean, again. Are they going to put me in jail, or are they just going to tell me I can't be on the planning board anymore? Well, if they put you in jail, <laughs> I'll make you a cake with a, flat, with a file on it. it. <laughs> and if they say you can't be on the planning board anymore, I'll still be friends with you. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> what did we set for the next meeting? For? The, 28th. the 28th. And then the 11th. And then the 11th. Meetings. Now, what might we what January. might we have That's coming this. up on the twenty eighth? The twenty eighth, we have the, that coming up. Yeah. The, the, right. the thing for and the open Rhode spaces Island committee Jones. is going to come to us on February eleventh. And the open space to February on February eleventh. Okay. Now, the uh, you know the route eighteen. We're going to do that in pieces now, and and itty bitty pieces. There's one piece that. Absolutely, everyone. I thought everyone agreed on was the one that was supposed to have been uh, the, where the Middleburg, where the pediatrics uh, uh, place is, and the. Well, I think we all we definitely all agree on that. that. The only question that I have that I can't get right in my own head is that you know I've been here long enough. I went through that process. Right. Why there's no record of that process is beyond me, but it somehow has to be a record of it somewhere that, that we voted on that. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that, you know, it would have been Bob Darling who issued permits on a piece of property that wasn't properly zoned at the time. There's, there's just something really missing there. Um, I mean, I remember having multiple discussions about it. I just somewhere there's there's something screwy about that whole thing but yeah if it was going to be if it's going to be one that we do it again the same way as last time of advertising it and having a hearing and stuff like that that would be a great one to start with because that would get a, you know get a ball rolling with an easy one but, <coughs> but 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 if there's something wrong Everyone says it was just a that it just hadn't been recorded properly, or not everyone. But, but you know, Rita assures me that that's that it just wasn't recorded. Okay, well, I mean that's very possible. We could have gone through the whole process and then the decision was never recorded. So, because we're within the six months now, we can start having these, so we don't have to have six hearings in one night. Yeah, we can start knocking some of these off, especially if. Open space wants us to. I mean, they're asking us to do a lot of work, which half of it's worth doing and half of it is maybe not. Well, I think most of what they're proposing here is very well worth sitting down and talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
you know, I also believe that there are some other issues that need to be talked about relative to the zoning within our community, and that's, um, you know, we, we have a tremendous amount of zoned industrial and commercial land. We really do. Um, and it's not being used the way it was originally intended. You know, so, I mean, it, it really makes us look disproportionate, at least in even in our master plan, as far as, you know, wh why are we zoning more properties one way when we have so much already that's not even being used? Um, and, uh, you know, I th yeah, there's, there's a lot of discussion that needs to take place uh, in regards to some of this. And I w I'd like to sit down with those people from the Open Space Committee and, and talk about some of those um, things. Uh, it probably wouldn't even hurt to have. Um, because if Don Foster would be along with him, then. He's, yeah. He's part of it. Yeah. He's part of open space. But uh, like I say, it wouldn't. I mean, which which board is it? it? It's the Economic Development Committee that pushed it originally, wasn't it? Economic Development Committee wasn't around yet when they originally pushed it. It was originally pushed by the by the Master Plan Implementation Committee which was, uh, you know, Rita and Bob and, and a bunch of nice folks, you know. But they were, they're all nice folks, but yeah. Uh, but it wasn't like a, uh, uh, you know, high-intensity program or anything like that. I mean, it was just a, you know, they would meet every six months and, you know, just go to the next step. Yeah, well, I think um, it would be well worth Having the discussion, I mean, even if we could get Grant King to come down and talk with a little bit more um, with a computer and GIS attached to a, an overhead projector so we can call up the information and actually take a look at, you know, and see exactly what it is that we're talking about. Um, now that, that would have been nice for this discussion. <laughs> yeah. Have an accurate one, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not... I agree. I think I had the accurate numbers in here, but I can't read them. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, small, just, yeah. it's a shame that... Okay, John Ryder sent over a copy of the escrow agreement. Actions, not words. So what are we supposed to do with this? I'll just file it. I don't know outside of that what you want to do with it. I'll put it in the file. Um, I did call Donnie and I did call Zinc this week because I got a call from an irate person down at Huckleberry Shores saying that it was a complete disaster down there with what they were doing. Um, Zinc and John Powderly and Nate said there was no disaster. Separately? You didn't, you didn't you, no, you, they each went down separately. Oh, was this a disaster? When was this? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, so this was probably a disaster after Saturday's rain? No, it was a disaster that somebody down there claimed that the trees were being left in the road. So, um, and there were pieces of trees left in the road, they couldn't get through. And but anyways, the, it we was had... clean as could be. That's what I was told by everybody that went down, it was clean as could be. Oh, so, so there's no so issue there. I mean, um, my other question was, uh, when we did the release, <coughs> when we did this release, this, what did this release exactly involve? Did it involve the four lots from Volcom and Zola as well yes. as it did? Yes. Okay, which would mean that we released eight, lot eight, which we had said would not be released until everything was done. Correct. Okay, that, that was also told to me that they were doing work on lot eight. But Nate said that's not true. There was nothing done on lot eight. 
No, I don't know. Did I you can't go down tell that far? I don't know what lot eight is. Eight. Lot eight is way down at the end. I, I oh, still it. couldn't tell because I didn't have a drawing. I mean, I can't tell. The yeah. late up, lot eight is, is down at the second elbow. I'm on the left hand side without a drawing. <coughs> yes. There, there was work being done down there. Yeah, I don't know if it was on lot eight. So but if, it was if down you were to look, Robin, yeah. this Highland it's Road, Robin's Laden comes up and it goes way up to the top of the hill and then goes back down and it makes a turn like that and a turn like that and it goes down. Okay, and lot eight was this one. Here's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, right there. There's the second elbow, and that's about eight. Yeah, there was work being done there. I don't know about right there, but there was work being done all through here. I don't know if it went that far. Yeah, I don't know either, I don't but know I do that. know it's all in through here. But I don't know if it actually went on to that. I, I saw this much. Yeah, I did too. I didn't see, I mean, that's that's about all I saw. Yeah, me too. I, 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 can't, I can't speak to that one bit. But in any event, late, lot eight was released. If if your your thinking was that lot eight was released, right? Well, the sum that we held back includes the some money. Of this, it was some of it was cleared. And I remember now. I, this now, is where there, there was exactly a turnaround says. here for a clipper. And the the grade. Yeah. This isn't a grade. Maybe there's down there. the grade plan, but there's um, the grade runs uphill yeah. from here quite steeply. So. Um, well, what is what I what the covenant on, on it said was lot eight will not be released until all the roadway improvements, including drainage, have been completed to the satisfaction of the planning board, and the entrance improvement plan has been approved by the planning board, and the homeowners association for ro roadway maintenance has been formed. Now, if now we are we holding that money? We're holding money from the folk when it's over. Yeah. Yeah, but. If you're letting them work on lot, if we gave them a release and lot eight was included in that release, then that means they could be working on lot eight and there's nothing you can say yeah. or do about it because we released it. There's nothing to say they're working on it. They're just clearing. It's got to show something. Clearing has nothing to do with working on it. Well, I'm just telling you what I was told. No. I don't, I don't know where that leaves us. <coughs> well, we're ho we're still holding money. Right. In addition to the 157, right? No, not in addition to what 157? The one that from from. Uh, Folkman and Zola, we're still holding money. Debbie's right. still holding money. We're, we're holding money from them, and uh, 157 is the one you're talking about that's on the other 11 lots. Right. Okay. Yeah. That. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. That's the amount we just came to from, just recently. Yeah. yeah right. Most recently. So they they paid off the taxes. They paid off everything. <laughs> They even paid off something that uh, the town wasn't even aware of the fact that it was old. Huh. Well, it would have been discovered, okay. right? Yeah, well, it would have been discovered. So. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep hold on to this. Uh, we've got an invitation to this. This from Serpath. Technical assistance funding is now available. Okay. What does Rita have to say about this? I don't know. Maybe he's in. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, I've been in touch with the, uh, and I talked to Rita today, uh, and she wasn't, uh, she's not going to be asking us for our hours, so we have to ask them to do something for us. Uh, I have two proposals to make to you gentlemen. Okay. Uh, the first one is that we uh, have them update the housing production plan. The housing production plan is a, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a well done document right now, uh, but there have been some changes. Note probably uh, one of the changes would be is Sterling Court. You, know, you, you lose the, the numbers in Sterling Court. So it will have to, you know, we're back to. That's a, a sure thing? thing. Pardon? That's, That's a not sure a sure thing? thing? No. That's not a sure thing at all. Because we definitely asked enough questions when that came up. At least I did. 
you know. And I was told that they all count, no matter what, they all count. I was like, I don't think they do. Well, they, they, the, do you want me to ask you? It sure looks like they don't count, but, but it's, it's not settled. Yeah, she could come in and address that. Um, and the second oh, no, one. She's trying to go uh, home. The, the second one would be that they did some interesting ones for business selling. Um, for I, I think it was Westport or Dartmouth or something like that for you know small for smallish lots and uh, you know close together businesses. Okay, she, she was uh, just getting ready. Which is much to more leave. controversial. Yeah, you could have kept the code on. Um, I was trying to sell them the housing, uh, updating the housing production plan as being the um, uh, the the hours that come to the planning board from CERFED, uh that we would put, apply those hours to updating the housing production plan. Well, I guess maybe updating isn't the, because we just did use these funds to have it updated. I think it was $6,000. Maybe work on strategies of how to meet the, um, the full 10%, because now one of our strategies was we were supposed to get counting the second set of buildings up. Um, and that's definite, they, they're saying that we can't well, count those. Well, it's an appeal. Uh, so we're, we're still appealing that because we had that uh, the last two rounds ago, we did receive the funds. Two rounds ago. Yeah. Two rounds ago. The, the last round was for the um, inclusionary zoning bylaw. Because I think we have to update that. We're required to update it every five years, so we were due to have it updated. So I don't know if. The master plan? No, the uh, housing production plan. Yeah, okay. So, def I don't know if, I think if uh, updating it is, I would call okay. Sandy Conady and find okay. out what, what would we put on our request. She's very good about helping okay. us fill out those okay. request forms on just what we should put on there. Okay. But it, 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 um, seem, it seems like that's a good direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have yeah, our regular. Are you talking about using our regular 20 hours, or is this that's this is, this is a, the, the grant program? That's the grant. No, yes. that's this the grant. is additional. Um, <laughs> we take some of our use some of our 20 hours to help us fill out the grant application for additional funding, but for other folks. Um, <coughs> I would definitely look into yeah. it. Yeah. We have a meeting next uh, Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. We can bring it up uh, <coughs> and ask about it. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be a little. Yeah, we're sending that off to the Economic Development Committee uh, to see if there's something that they'd like to use. That they've become pretty active now. So. All right. Another question I have is we have. Um, a request um, to be visited or to meet with the open space um, and really some of the issues they're talking about or some of the same issues that the Economic Development <coughs> Committee is talking to us about. Um, and I guess my question is, is really to have a good understanding of how zoning is impacted by the community. Is it possible to get Grant King to come down? And sit within the library with his GIS program, so that we can actually mm -hmm. can we do that as part of uh, our twenty hours? Yeah, I would say yeah. I mean, that would really only be two hours. I can't see that it would take more than that to do that. But maybe uh, the preparation plan, uh, whatever time it takes for him to prepare for that. Oh, yeah. If there is any, I don't yeah. know. Oh, she I just has to bring his computer. Yeah. But to put together uh, a presentation for like uh, as it pertains to Lakeville or just as it pertains to us looking at the north part of mm -hmm. 18 and the new. Could we, uh, what and we those are some of the things they want to talk to us about. So and have both committees go All to three. that meeting. Yeah, yeah, both committees and this board. You know. Do you want to contact Grant? And coordinate it, and probably you know uh, even go to. Uh, we have the uh, call the screen at the library. We, we, yeah. we, we 
really have to get dates from Olivia because they that's, they use that meeting room a lot. The senior center is always but available. But there's a projector there. Yeah. Is there one at the senior center? Uh, we could put up a screen and he could bring his own. Uh, yeah. Projector. Yeah. I think Serpa has all that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you'll contact him and ask him that question? I will. Um, I'm going to see if he's available on, what is it, the 11th, Pauline? February yep. 11th. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> and I guess that's really pretty much it. That's a Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, the library. What you could do is call Olivia first. It's better to have it at the library. Yes. But. Yes, I'll do that. If I have trouble, I'll call you. Yeah. I'll talk to you. I'll tell them I know you. Yeah, and I think the last order of business this evening is just to see if the board wants to have um, one of our members sitting on the casino um, committee. Yeah, back in uh, May of 2012, the committee had put a charge together, and that was when we, the, uh, the proposal for our casino in Lake Talk mm -hmm. and Freetown uh, was very active. And at the time when the committee put the, uh, the Board of Selectmen put the charge together, um, it, it actually had 15 members, all three selectmen, um, the building commissioner, a finance committee member, a conservation commission member, zoning board member, planning board member, open space, and six at-large members. And over the past year, uh, we haven't, they haven't met many times, but there has been a problem uh, getting a quorum of 15, because you need uh, eight, eight. eight. And the last couple of meetings have been to review the um, uh, draft environmental study for the Taunton casino, casino project for a slight. So at the meeting last night, they talked about um, requesting that Slupin, uh reduce the membership to nine, maybe, or did they even? I can't remember what the vote was. And like the selectmen said, there's no need now for all three selectmen to be on it, you know, as long as they have one member going. And I know, so we, I called, um, took a look at some of the members that haven't been able to go. The Zoning uh, Appeals Board member hasn't been able to make the meetings. A couple of the at-large haven't been able to. And I know Brian is the planning board's rep right now, and he's had, he's been traveling. So, um, and the building commissioner, um, the selectmen didn't feel that there was a need for the building commissioner to be on any longer too. So we just, you know, don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know, um, but if you feel that, you know, it's important that a planning board member stay on. Uh, right now the committee feels as if uh, the comment letters going into the Bureau of Indian Affairs probably won't meet again until um, if the land goes into trust, you know, that would be the next step. But don't really see a lot of meetings coming up. So I didn't know how the planning board, I told the committee last night, I checked with the board tonight, the planning board tonight. So you're trying to reduce the total number or? Yep. And you can't, you have to have, you have to have a named individual, you can't have just a representative right. from the board. Right, they get appointed, it's an uh, annual appointment. Yes. And, uh, how do you feel, guys? You I, I, I think we should go along with contracting it. I, 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 I still belong to three groups uh, that uh, are against casinos. I mean, I, 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 you know, I really, really. Well, th you know, this isn't really. But uh, uh, but but you don't want me. It's to, a not a pro or for. It's right. you know it's uh, making sure that the interests uh, of the town. Right. I um, that, 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 that's why you wouldn't want me. I mean, I'm just blindly against. And, and they're, not that there aren't people that have strong feelings yeah. either way on, on the, you know, uh, whether or not you're pro or um, 
anti-casino. It's just looking out for the interest. Right. You know, where do you want to go get the DEIS off oh, the thanks. table? <laughs> uh, you at least have to review it and yeah. say, you know, I'm look at the different, um, you know, traffic is going to be a concern for the Taunton Casino. Here. This is what we're reviewing. Yeah, yeah. Ed, yeah. Ed documents. Yeah. That's only a third of it. Yeah. I hope that. Do they have nice maps? Side. Are there good maps? In Actually, no. Oh. This is a sort of like the uh, South Coast Rail. Uh, it's that's two books. Yeah. yeah. South Coast Rail is more likely to have. So, you know, if you know. I if something came along and, and you know, if, if the planning board felt, you know, you'd want to come back on, it's just, I'm just leaving it up to you. <coughs> It'd certainly be easier if there was a planner who could work with us all on this. Uh, yes. Uh, and, uh, well, it seems like I'm beating a dead horse. No, actually, uh, we're just out in the budget numbers now, and I have a request in. And your budget is there. Our budget is there. I just fire Actually, what we did too is, you know, because of getting payroll signed and everything else. Uh, did you already go over that? I told Jim. Yeah. I haven't told the board. I'm, I'm actually putting in a request. Uh, we're gonna have to school numbers the end of the month and see where um, uh, I'm pushing for whether it's a part time. Or, or shared planner, or you know, if we want to call it a town coordinator, whatever title, uh, uh, um, I, I, I think I have the backing of the Slotman now that if it allows this coming year, that that's what we need for the professional planner. The Economic <coughs> Development Committee. been around for at, at least 30 years, right? They should get the, they should get the planner. Oh, it's, the, uh, I'm not saying it's the, it, the planner would go to the meetings of these different boards. No, the, the, the plan, I kind of like the, the Board of Health, you know, has a, has an agent, you know, the Conservation Committee. The Conservation Commission has an agent. Uh, the uh, the assessors have, you know, several agents and stuff like that. Uh, as a planning board, I mean, we could have an agent. That would be a. Um, you're trying to snatch him up right away. <laughs> I, well, I can see that. No, and, uh, that I, I'm trying to keep the, the planner. Yes. When you when you call like the Green Communities Grant I'm working on, yeah. do you know who's doing all the reporting for each community? It's a town planner. Yeah. Um, it's That's not working true. with all. What who's doing the reporting for? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you done your first report? Oh, we just haven't even gotten our check yet. But. Okay. <laughs> there's quarterly reporting. Then there's going to be yeah. annual reporting. But the towns, when I was to, uh, calling to find, to get to get uh, RFPs for the projects, some of the projects where, uh, especially lighting projects, you can have an energy audit done for free by um, National Grid or NSTAR. They just come in and do it. Right. When you're a, a municipally owned, you can't. Right. You know. So we had a lot of problems in searching out RFPs from other communities. Almost every town I called, the planner was who I talked to. Mm -hmm. They were doing all the reporting. So it, it's, I don't want to snatch them up, but I mean, a planner does more than just uh, work with the planning board. Right, of course. Yeah. Of course. But it's to have the different boards work to coordinate. That's right. Go to the meetings, um, you know, not necessarily work for the Economic Development Committee, but keep them, the planning board, in the loop of what Master Plan Implementation Committee is looking at. Everything evolves around it. Yeah, right. Everything does. Anyways, so I guess ultimately what do you want to do on the Casino Advisory Committee? Leave it as is? Or? Uh, 
I mean, if they're not we, meeting we do, that we would frequency, we'd be doing Ryan a favor, wouldn't we? Uh, that we was withdraw, withdraw, withdraw him on, from the committee. It, well, at this point, the do. problem with Ryan is Ryan's working out of town. Yeah. And that's. I mean, I think it he depends on how long the individual the projects yeah, work. Yeah, when he was able to go, I don't think there was a problem. But it's the fact that he's working out of town. Yeah. Right. Of course. And he's and according to his wife, it'll be at least. She thought at least another couple of months. But that he'll be coming. She, he may be able to come in once in a while, but that he's going to be. A, it's going to be a case of our being out of town for some of that time. Well, I think I'd probably like to do this if, if the board gives me the blessing, which is I'll send him off an email and ask him how he feels his involvement should be, and if if he. So I don't want to just snatch it out from under him. Right. Um, if he's gone to the, no, you know, the meetings now, yeah. um, and we'll know at our next meeting, if he says, yeah, we'll talk about it and make a recommendation at our next meeting, does that sound? When, uh, when do you meet again? The 28th. Uh, we're meeting the 27th. Do you want to uh, decide if Brian says he doesn't have a problem with it? That that's fine by me if you would subject like to yeah. yeah subject to the reply just make it easy on everybody he, he won't have a problem with that i don't think no i don't think he will either okay so which one of you guys wants to take up this place <coughs> well, Zeke said already he wasn't a good idea well, I, do you want to stay on do you want to have keep representation i don't think it would be that necessary if we did have a planner who could report back to us, you know, the findings. But other than that, we don't get any of that. Yeah, because I think at the time, with the, when it was the Lakeville Casino, the planning board definitely wanted to be involved because, sure. you know, on the, the Taunton, maybe it's... Um, well, I think no matter whether it's Middleborough, whether it's Taunton, mm -hmm. if it's not Lakeville, it still has a big implication to the town. Um, it's still going to involve this board to some degree um, <coughs> and, and should. Uh, but I also think that, you know, we're being naive to think we can move forward with this as individual committees without having a professional on board to help through the negotiations. Um, and, and look at land use and how it, a casino would impact our land use. Uh, but Actually, with and, and with the tribal casinos, there is no mitigation other than if um, where a commercial casino does have to work out agreements with the budding communities. Yeah, it's a little bit different on the tribal. That's <coughs> it's all theoretical mitigation. They they don't really they can't possibly mitigate enough for the damage. So Don't sugarcoat it, Zink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if Brian wants to stay, we'll let Brian stay. If not, then we'll let it go. All How's right. that? And then uh, when you hear back from Brian, just let Brian know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we gave you the budget. Yeah, I don't well, what we're looking think for you is have to do it tonight, but you've got to do it by the next meeting, the 28th. Yeah. Well, we're not reducing it anymore, right? So we're still back to $150 now, right? Whatever you want to submit. Do you well, we had 200 We went to 150 Do you use it all, Pauline? Do you need more? The, uh, well, well, you, well, we haven't used it all this year. We haven't. I haven't bought very much of anything this year. I haven't had to buy too much. But we usually do. We pretty come pretty close to it. We gave up. They gave up belonging to the groups that they belong to. That used up most of the money for the membership things. We gave that up a few years ago already because we didn't have money. So actually, well, are there memberships that you? Well, there was that we belonged. We haven't belonged to for for the last five years at least. Yeah. They weren't so doing anything. They weren't really doing a heck of a lot for us, and we figured it was money that. And whenever you, you know, the office supplies, yeah. you know, we. Well, they do. I, yeah, I know. But well, we even have like for the CPTC, you've always paid for that when yeah. the board members yeah. wanted so, to go. So anyway. Are the other yeah. so boards giving up their uh, stipends? Uh, only three boards get stipends: the Board of Assessors, Board of Health, and Board of Selectmen. And and they keep them. Yeah. Everyone keeps 
they, well, they, yeah, I, they have I haven't gotten any budgets back. I assume that they will. They will cut in half. Um, a couple years ago, 2010. Okay. Well, we should stay with them. Do you want me to make the copy of that? We should so stay, in, you know, in line yeah. with them, shouldn't we? What their budgets or their stipend? Yeah. Um, as far as I know, the planning board has never received a stipend in Lakeville. I think uh, Freetown used to do stipends for school committees and planning boards and uh, just about every committee. And they <coughs> You're not allowed to do them for school committees. The Freetown used to. Yeah, you're not uh, supposed to. The, the state doesn't want you to do that. But they've That's eliminated all their stipends for uh, those other boards. I think they just do assessors, board of health, and... Okay, guys, let me to go home. She's been upset yep. for days. She's been, she, today I, it's my today first is her day first day, day back, so go home. <laughs> Thanks. So, you know, if you feel that you need, uh, is it our supply yeah. budget? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah so it, it, probably, it probably, you know, probably leave it as the same as it is. Yeah, we'll probably leave it the same. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. A couple of new right, binders for 2014. Right. A couple of big binders for 2014. We can, I can get you with the, the big, big bunnies. That's just from tonight. <laughs> okay, well, did we ever get him? A <coughs> uh, big binder? Oh, no, but I can what? get one. I got mine still left in it. Yeah, but I mean, he should have a binder with all the... Well, that's... Well, you gave me one. Yeah. Uh, yep, you gave yeah. me one back in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't, I, I didn't with all the bylaws and the rules and regulations. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I batted them in. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll tell you. Okay. So you want to do the budget tonight, or you want to wait and do it next time? Um. Motion to approve the budget of one hundred and fifty dollars for two thousand yeah. fourteen. For two thousand. No, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Second. No. I'm, <laughs> Peter moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. I, I just don't. What don't you understand? Um, I don't understand why why other boards why other boards get money and we get we don't get any. I, I just don't I just don't get it. Get money for what? Well, you were the treasurer for the Well, is it is an interesting topic of conversation. I guess if, if you go back what? if you go back through the board you find out that the cable committee gets a few thousand dollars and the planning board gets hundred and fifty. So we get less we get less money than all boards. I know, but I mean you, you can understand where the town's importance is really, I guess, if you look at it like that, right? It's more important to have cable. Than I'm I'm wondering why they hate us. Well, I don't think they necessarily wait, wait hate us, you, but wait till you see the next planner you get. That's sort of. If you don't ask, you don't get. What? I won't ask, you don't get. That's right. No. That's right. Huh? No, I don't have to. So we, what do we want to do? The answer will always be no. Well, how much do you want to ask for? I mean, we to be honest with you, we rarely yes. use the hundred and fifty. Well, it, 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 that's just an accounting thing because the, it, you spend a lot of time during the day answering calls for planning board stuff. Right. You, you, you're a clerk. Yeah. Right. You're the planning board clerk, and you're not charged to this account at all. Not to uh, this where account. Where you really should. I'm charged to the yeah. selectmen. Right. Um, you know, I mean, for, for instance, I mean, a, a good half of it got to be a good half of your work here is done for the planning board. Right. Plus all the time you spend, you know, uh, you know, for our meetings. Uh, so that that's a real budget, uh, and that uh, even well, though it's Well, my but my pay comes out of the secretarial right. pool. Is where it comes out. So I mean, we should keep that in the back of our minds because there's other people that are that, that they charge theirs differently. So we do actually have somebody, um, and you steal their paper for <laughs> for when you need paper. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think realistically so far, 
it's worked. Yeah. I you know, it's a little discouraging sometimes. I mean, this is really my 34th year on this board. Um, and when I came here, the budget was $250. And $250 34 years ago bought quite a bit more. That was almost a week's pay. Yeah, well, it was not probably, really, but it was, it was a good piece of it. 34 years ago, it was pretty close to it, yeah. It um, and, uh, you know, to be at $150 now, but like I say, there's a lot of ways that the Sluckman's budget and the town administrator take care of our needs um, yeah. through other line items. Um, I guess, again, it's yeah, just I discouraging mean, for legal me. Legal fees, when we check with legal counsel, we don't pay for it out of the planning board budget. We pay for it out of the legal budget. Yeah. We collect a lot of we collect a lot of hundred dollars. Well, we, we don't collect anywhere near what we used to, but we still collect some. We will again. All right. Are we at 150 for the budget? We, I, I need a vote. I, I go to stuff. I, I go to stuff in Worcester. We're every in discussion. Year. Um, and I guess the select would pay for that too. Right. Because that should actually be out of our budget. We're going to the CPTC. Yeah, but it, but um, see, it doesn't. So if I mean, yeah. so if we add all those things into our budget, we're just paying anyways. It doesn't right. really make much difference. We're, who pays it? We're still okay. paying it. Okay. Yeah, it's a line item. Okay. At that point. All right. We need a vote. Okay. Those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> I believe it is is. Okay, next meeting is the 28th. All right, now the only order of business so far is Highland Terrace, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, so far that's all that there is. All right, I mean, and there's no rush on that? I no, mean, if I nothing mean, else comes in, can we postpone them till the 11th? Well, I can check with them. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much they want to get going but we well he's saying out. they're talking about not really starting construction until you know what yeah but, August. Does, but yeah but doesn't he need everything in place for the dot oh, i don't know i mean i can check with him for that i can oh i can wait closer to the time and i'll, I'll say something to him tomorrow about if oh. i don't get anything else yeah it's do, the 11th a problem for him do that okay yeah, island paris still needs finance Well, I guess right. the only the only question paper. I has I mean if we want to my feeling is is do I want to take you guys out from your families for one night just to sign a plan or can it wait you know yeah. another two weeks so if, if you don't mind coming out we can meet on the 28th well can right. we leave it tentatively that you're going to meet on the 28th that's what I would that's do. fine yep yeah okay <clears throat> well, are we going to meet here or are we going to do this no, I think we can do that on our own, Don. This here is on the 28th. Yeah, but that's open for the whole time. I so mean, we that's could go it. over there afterwards. You could go over there afterwards, or you could go there before. Or for the, I don't know what the well, hours seven are. seven to nine. All right, you've got a half an hour. How much more time <laughs> do you want? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Well, so we'll, we'll be here. Yeah. All right. By the way, Zink and Donnie, thanks for going over and checking on the stuff for me. Oh, you're welcome. Problems. I got a call at 8 o'clock in the morning on my day that I don't even work. <laughs> to do what? Well. Well, crisis. To go and find out about what was going on over at Huckleberry oh, Shores. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, the next time just call so Jeremy. The 28th and then February 11th. When the camera yeah, goes that's on. The kind of Yep. All right, gentlemen, I need a, motion, I to I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.